In this video, we're going to speak a little about the playback that Sibelius offers. How it plays back your score. Now you can see I've created a little ditty here, which I'm going to let you hear first of all, so you can hear exactly how it sounds. Here we go. There we go. Very straightforward. I haven't put any dynamics in there. I haven't put any tempo markings. I haven't put anything in there apart from just the notes in the piece. I've got the transport panel open because I wanted you to see that it's set to crotch equals 100, which is the default speed for any piece of music in Sibelius until you tell it otherwise by using a tempo marking over here. Now, I can adjust how Sibelius plays us back in a number of ways. For example, if I go to the play tab, this is where all the playback controls are, are located. And I can go to the interpretation area here and click on the performance button here. This gives me a large number of options that I can have a play with. The main ones to have a look at are up in the top corner here, the Espressivo, the Rubato and the Rhythmic Feel. The Espressivo ranges from Mechanical, which is none, to Molto, which is a lot, and it's to do with the expression that Sibelius will automatically put into your music. The Rubato drop down here again determines how much Rubato Sibelius will put in, ranging from Mechanical, which is none at all, very strict, right up to Molto, which is quite free. This one here, the Rhythmic Feel, is quite interesting because what this lets you do is change the Rhythmic Feel of the piece. So for example, I can, I could choose, um, let's say, a light swing for here. And when I click OK, nothing changes on the score. But when I get to, for example, this point here, listen to the quavers, if I play from there. Here they're now playing as swung quavers. There's nothing on the score to indicate that, but because I've set the rhythmic feel to be for the whole piece to be light swing, that will now affect the entire piece. There are no quavers in the first half of it, so it doesn't really make any difference over there. But now, over here for example, so you can hear that has a difference. Anything that you do from this box here affects the entire piece. To me that sounds a bit odd, so I'm going to set it back to being straight up at the top here. You can see there are lots of different options to choose from there. But I'm going to set it back to being straight. You can also determine whether or not it uses the ambient reverb, and if so, what type of reverb you're going to use. You can, there are lots and lots of other options. I'll leave you to have a play with those yourself, um, because it would take far too long to go through each option individually, but these are the main ones to be aware of in this dialog box. However, there is another um, option up here that you want to be very much aware of, and it's this one here, the dictionary. What this lets you do is to access all of the playback and control words that are in Sibelius, and you can see exactly what it's going to do when you use them. You have the option of using staff text, system text, lines, articulations, note heads or symbols, and these all do different things. So for example, if I look at the staff text, these are all things to do with how the instruments are played. So for example, if I do cut mute, it changes the sound. You can see there are various different things that it will change up here. It's changing the sound to a cut mute. If I change, if I were to put detach, it would change the sound up there. If I use any of the dynamics, obviously, then the dynamics 
that affect the dynamics up here. But what's interesting for this experiment is to use a system text box. And what I'm going to do is point out one or two and then use them and you can see how they work. For example, you have all the um, tempo markings in here. So for example, Andante will set the tempo to 80 crotchets per minute. Allegro, however, will set it to 120. Alargando, or Alarg, will scale the tempo to 80 degrees, it's sorry, 80% 80 of what it currently is, whatever that happens to be. So we'll do it by percentage rather than do it as, as a strict number. You also have things like your heavy swing. All of this means that it will give it a swing feel. You really don't want to start changing any of these unless you want to take it very, very seriously. Normally, what Sibelius will do is going to be fine. So let's have a look at some of these in action. I'm going to click OK just now without selecting anything. Actually, I'll just click Cancel just to make sure. So I haven't changed anything yet. But if I go to my Text tab, go from the Styles, I'm going to choose a tempo text because if you remember from the text video that will affect the entire score and I can type instead of writing one of the Allegro or, or one of the Italian terms I can just type the word fast and watch what happens when I click when I hit the escape key over here the tempo changes to 120 because that's what the playback dictionary told it to do so now when I play it at slightly faster speed. I could also, for example, at this point, again I'm going to use tempo text, I could type faster, and this is another one of the instructions which will make it 120% of whatever it happens to be before. So if I play from slightly before that, watch what happens to the tempo here. 32, which is 110% of 120. What I can also do, for example, is let's say at this point um, here, I can type the word, if I go to again the tempo text, I can type the word swing. Listen to the quavers at this point. So again, I'll play from a bit before it. Straight quavers. And again at this point here, let's add one more, I can type the word straight. So we've got the swing quivers beforehand. So you can see that using some of the words from the playback dictionary affect the playback of the score without having to go through all the process of learning what all the Italian terms mean and stuff. You can just use these words and as long as these words are used in context there, Sibelius will recognise them. So for example there, I wrote the word swing. I could have written a sentence saying at this point please play swing quavers. As long as the word swing appears then the quavers will be swung from then on. Similarly over here um, straight quavers from now on, for example, would also give me straight quavers. As long as a word appears, Sibelius will recognise that. It's quite a powerful feature of the playback of Sibelius.